So I set out to make the greatest burger I've ever cooked, and while I was building it out, I learned so much more than I thought I would. Hey guys, and welcome to another video. The reality is burgers have been done a million times, and they're gonna be done a million more. But there is still something that is absent in all of the videos I've seen, which is how to use the fundamentals of how we taste food in order to craft the perfect sauces for this amazing sandwich. And yes, I said sauces. You're gonna need two to make a literal flavor bomb. I'm telling you, it's gonna be mind blowing. Today, we are gonna make a delicious burger, but more importantly, we are going to use sauce theory to understand how you can make any burger better. First, we need to understand how we taste. The taste buds on your tongue can only sense five things. Sweet, salty, sour, bitterness, and savory. That's it. Everything else that we taste comes from what we smell while we're eating. The most important of these five for us is acidity. And the reason for that is because it enhances other flavors. It's what Gray Coons called in his amazing book, The Elements of Taste, a pulling flavor. Burgers give us a special chance to use this. By placing a more acidic sauce on the bottom, you're able to physically open your palate up to set you up for a second aromatic sauce and create an actual flavor bomb. So let's talk about the two sauces I made for this video. I did a gojujang ketchup and a mushroom aioli. They're delicious. The ketchup is acidic and sweet, and it really opens up your palate for the aromatic mushroom aioli. It might be the greatest burger. Just saying, it might be. So let's jump into making these two sauces. For the ketchup, you'll start with slicing 40 grams of ginger thin and caramelizing it in about 20 grams of neutral oil. Then add 300 grams of ketchup and cook this for a few minutes while stirring. You wanna lightly caramelize it. The color is gonna become maybe a shade darker. Pour in 125 ml of red wine vinegar and mount it with 25 grams of gochujang. And then blend it until it's smooth. To make the aioli, first we'll roast a mixture of mushrooms in a 400 degree oven with olive oil and salt. I use shiitakes and cremenis. You want a cup once you're done. Then we'll add that to our food processor with a small amount of sliced chilies. Mine weighed five grams. 12 grams of Dijon mustard, or about two tablespoons. 110 ml of white wine vinegar. Two egg yolks and a quarter cup of roasted garlic. I'll link a short video with an easy technique for that if you don't already have a preferred way of doing it. Turn on the food processor and drizzle in a pint of neutral oil. And depending on how much salt you put into your mushrooms, you will have to season this to taste. These sauces turned out really well. You should give them a shot. Now that we've done the sauces, let's finish this burger up. I made a pickle, but how can you make a cucumber pickle without a channel knife? Ah, there it is. So now that that's done, you wanna slice the cucumbers very thick. Boil 375 milliliters of Japanese rice vinegar with 150 milliliters of sugar and one and a half teaspoons of salt. Once it's boiled, let it cool down all the way. Pour it over your cucumbers with 70 milliliters of fresh lime juice. You should let these sit for at least an hour. For the patty, my go-to is an 80-20 blend. And personally, I like to weigh my burgers to six ounces. And these pint containers are a perfect mold. I mean, look at that divot on the bottom. And I like to season it with just kosher salt and sear it well on both sides. For cheese, I use pepper jack, because why not? I mean, jack cheese melts perfectly, and those jalapenos, mm. I like my burgers with thinly sliced lettuce and thinly sliced red onion. So let's head up. Pick your favorite bun and get your ketchup on the bottom. Put the aioli on the top. Add your toppings. Mm. 
and it's done. This sauce theory really is cool and there's a lot that you can do with it. Even if you're not using these sauces, next time you make a burger or really any sandwich, maybe think about how you're gonna layer your sauces on. It can open up a whole new world for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and learned something new. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.